Hello and welcome to my hammer editing tutorial. First, go to your tools tab and select source SDK, just double click it. Okay, this is a tutorial on how to make a simple building with some lights and a door. Okay, once this is loaded up, you need to go to your change your engine. I'm using Half-Life 2. Okay, now double click Hammer Editor. Click File, New. Okay, this is where you can draw. Okay, now click Browse here and select the texture you want your first wall to be. I'm typing wall in the filter and I'm going to search for these masses of textures. I already know which one I want. Okay, now use your block tool I can just change the grid and use a block tool and just draw your wall like that. Once you're done, hit enter to make it. Now I may see that you can't see anything, so click on this camera tool and draw your camera. Now you've got your camera. Okay. Now you can put a person here by selecting the entity tool and just drag him to the size of the wall. Okay, now you can see that this wall is way too small to fix. I'm just make it thinner and make it taller. Okay, that's alright. Okay, now just going to press shift and drag to copy the wall. Now do control M, press Z and type 19 to turn it 90 degrees. Okay, and now just line it up with the other wall. Okay, now press control and highlight the other wall and press shift and drag again in this box to copy them. Okay, now do control M and press Z and type 180. Now line it up like that. Okay. Now you have your four walls. Okay, now we need to make a floor. Just uh, browse for your floor texture. I'm going to search for carpet. I'm going to use this one here. Okay, now I'm going to draw in here. Just make sure it's halfway in your walls because otherwise it leaves a black mark with where it joins the wall. That's okay. So just draw this halfway in all the walls. I may notice this the box is all the way up to the top. So now you've got to drag it down. Drag it right down and drag the bottom one down a bit. Uh -huh. Use Alt to stop it from snapping to grid. Okay, now press enter. Okay, now we're going to make the door. Okay, so uh select your tool, select the player, info start press shift on him and drag to copy him ok now right click on here and properties go f prop underscore door rotating ok hit apply ok now go to world model and click browse search for door I'm using this one and if you go into the skins tab here you can find loads of different skins you can have your door I'm using this one so now press ok ok now just line it up to the wall. I'm just going to get it out of the floor. Okay, now put it into the wall on the top view, halfway in the wall. Okay, so now we've got to select your block tool and just draw around the red box around the door while the door is still selected. Okay, and uh, now hit enter. Now get your select tool press alt and drag it to the edge of the door like that make sure it's the same on each side okay now go to now go to tools and carve okay now press delete and there's your gap for your door okay so now you can double click your door and change any of these properties you've got all these different ones open direction and all these different things that you can change I'll leave that up to you open and close sounds and this is the speed which I'm going to put at about 50 okay that's your door this blue bubble here is the hinge for your door this is the way the door will open you can move that to make the door open the other side like this so now the door will open the opposite way the opposite side okay put that back how it is okay that's the door now for your roof just press shift and drag the floor up. Make sure you press and shift and just line it up. Now select 
a roof texture or any texture you want I'm just going to use this one hit this tool here to apply your texture okay now we're going to put some lights in normally if you don't put any lights on the map at all uh, SDK will automatically make everything light but I'm going to put some lights in here anyway you may want to do this if you want certain light positions for your map you'll have to make sure lights are everywhere okay so you select your entity tool and type in light in the entity bar uh, I'm going to use a spotlight but there is different types of light okay I'm going to put one up here I'm just going to use these different views and angle it to point towards the center of the room just click it once and you'll get these circles just go into these circles your mouse will disappear and just click and move your mouse Okay, I'm just going to angle it into the center of the room like this. Okay, that seems to be all right. Okay, I'm just, oops, just need to double click this spotlight when I can find it. <laughs> all right, double click your spotlight, and when it says these different properties you can change on the inner angle here. Yeah, here I'm going to just change that so that it points more directly to the middle of the room instead of out. Okay, now press shift and drag. Uh, turn it. Now I press shift and drag it to the other side. And now I do control M, Z, and turn it 90 degrees. Now I can drag it into this corner like that. Okay. Now select your other one as well. Press control and highlight it and press shift and drag them into the middle of the room control M and it turn it 80 degrees on Z ok now just place that over there like that and that's basically the lights done you can use a light you can use a prop for the lights which just go to here and type prop underscore dynamic place that there you see it's a red box just double click it and where it says world model click browse and I'm going to search for light search for a good light um, uh, oh uh, let's go for this one you can use any light tech any light prop you want okay now just use your different views to put it where this is okay turn it and everything to so put it angle it with the spotlight Okay, and that's basically it. You can put any prop there you want. Oh, there's one other thing I forgot. Uh, you need to put a point underscore spotlight with every spotlight. Just put it in the middle of the spotlight. Okay, just place it on the wall there. Turn it to angle it where the spotlight's facing, and just put it in the middle of the spotlight. Like that. You need to do that for all your spotlights. Sorry, I forgot that. And that's it. Thanks for watching.